Can you introduce how to use this machine? Okay, so this is the mini disc player. This is the machine that we play all the mini discs off in the studio in case you've pre recorded some jingle or you've got some songs on mini disc that you want to bring in and play. You load the mini disc uh, in here just like a floppy disc on a computer. And then you select the track by using the push enter uh, knob just here. So, say if we wanted to play track four, you let it click five times over, sorry, track five, and then we load the CD. At the minute, the time mode shows how long it's been playing for. So, so, so far, it's been playing for zero, nothing. If we press play, you'll notice it, it'll start to count up. If we press time, it'll change that to how long the song lasts for and how long the song has got left. You'll also notice that it's on single mode at the minute, which means at the end of this track, it'll just stop. And go off. Mm -hmm. And that means that at the end of this song, it'll continue playing. But if you press it again, and single comes on, when single is on, it means at the end of this song, it will just finish, and that will be it, and it won't continue to play the next track. To play the song, you've got it queued up at the minute, so you just need to press play. To take it back to the start of the song, you need to press Q, because that was the last place it was paused. However, if you press play, and then pause it, and then play, and then you press Q, it won't take you back to the start of the song, instead it will take you back to the last place you paused it. So to get it back to the start of the song, you just need to use the push enter toggle and take it back to track 5. To listen to a song without it going on air, you need to press the Q button. And this will let you listen to whatever is being played out on that fader without it actually going out on air. As long as the faders are completely down on zero, nothing will go out on air. So for example, here we have queued uh, CD2. So we would press play on CD2, CD2 now, and we'll be able to hear it in. Um, we'll be able to hear it without it actually going out on air. Uh, if I show you on, on the computer, the the songs on the left hand side where the songs are played are um, here. These are played through the computer fader. So if we press play now, we'll be able to hear it, and that lets us listen to it without going on air. If we wanted it to go out on air, we would need to put put the on button on and the fader would need to be up and then we just need to press to play, play on the computer firstly for it to yeah, play. if these are all off um, basically if that's played and the fader's up it's not going out on air because it's not on you need to switch the fader on um, the on on the CD player and the mini player also acts as play so you don't it's have to you good. don't have to fade it up and press play if you press on you'll notice that this would automatically play and if you press stop, it'll automatically stop it and take it back. If you remember, sorry, off. If you remember off as being just like the cue, so it's not takes it back to the start. It takes it back to the last place you paused it. So if we play it, and if we pause it on the fifth second, and now if we press play, if we press stop. I'll take you back to where we last paused it, acts just as Q. Um, and then they use these play buttons. Completely up to you. If you want to come in and switch them all on, um, and, then all you, and then you just press play. But I personally don't like doing it because the microphone's here and you're leaning up here whilst you're talking, it just makes life a bit easier. And all the buttons are in front of you all at one and all nice and within easy reach and stuff. Another way of playing a song is this fader start button here. So if we've got it queued up, ready to go, if we click the fader start button, it's now highlighted green, which means that as soon as we put the fader up, it'll start playing it. As soon as this fader leaves zero, it'll play it. And that's quite, and when you when it goes down, it automatically acts as stop when it gets down to the bottom. Um, and that's quite nice if you've got kind of like a, clo uh, a slow starting, um, kind of piece or something, you know, that starts really slow. And you're talking, you want to fade it in, you can fade it in slowly and just bring it up. Um, another good reason for it is you don't have that clicky noise, you can't hear anything when you do that. Whereas if you're on air, you start talking, and you press that button, you might be able to hear that click, which you don't want the listener to. You don't want the listener to realise how you've constructed it. <laughs> Whack it with the keyboard. So if you're there going, oh my god, everyone's going to hear it, and it don't sound so nice, so it's often nice just to have it on fader star, and then they can't hear a thing, um, which is quite good. I leave them on always because the on button and on off button don't make no difference. It won't play anything for you. Uh, and then when you have it, you have it all the way up to press play.
Um, of course, if you want to talk over the intro, it's got to be quiet. So it's got to be about there. So if you start talking now, blah, 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 blah. Do we do? We've got five seconds there, four seconds there. Three, two, one. Here's the Kaiser cheese. And you just fade it off. Um, um, yes, and then just stop it like that. So I leave them on and just leave them, fade them down when I'm not using them, when I'm going to use them, fade them off. Uh, as long as the faders are all the way down, you won't be able to hear you. They can't hear you now because the faders, even though the microphones are now on, they can't hear us because it's this is on, this is off. Um, uh, so when I want to talk, I'll just pop it up and start talking. Um, rather than having it all the way up and clicking on because then again, you're gonna hear, you might hear that clicking. But also a reason I don't like that is if you've got a co-presenter um, and they start talking before you press on, it's gonna kind of jump to it. So if I go scratch radio, you're only gonna get DO there because I switched it on halfway through the radio. Uh, another reason for it is if you start talking before you actually press the button, uh, you, you know, you're gonna miss a bit out and you just, um, so I just have it, I just fade it up so it just sounds a little bit more smooth than in case you've cocked up. I'm Paul Adley, the assistant station manager of Scratch Radio. I just help run the plays, hopefully, and I write the minutes and the meetings and all sorts of very boring stuff you probably won't want to hear about. But Scratch Radio is an excellent radio station. It's very light hearted and fun. It's a wide range of music, it's great music for the great city. I can't believe I actually said that. That's our tagline, but you know, I don't really want to say it. And so, yeah, come and join Scratch, we're great. And Hello YouTube, I'd like to say, because this is where we're. Hello YouTube, there's a video there, and a video there, and one that. Oh, just. Yeah, Scratch Radio, we're great. Woohoo!